morning. I'm Rob Wright, Chief Editor of Life Science Leader Magazine. I'm here at the Marriott Marquis in New York City at the Bio CEO and Investor Conference. With me, I have Philip Chan, President, CEO of Cytosorbents. So, Philip, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your product, Cytosorb, such as what it treats and how it works. Sure. Uh, well, thanks, Rob, for having me on the show. Well, Cytosorb is a blood purification technology that is designed to try to control deadly inflammation and life-threatening illnesses commonly seen in the intensive care unit, like sepsis, burn injury, trauma, influenza, complications of cancer immunotherapy, such as cytokine release syndrome, and complications of uh, cardiac surgery and other types of surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a cartridge that is filled with a highly biocompatible pore sorbent that is very good at extracting toxic materials from blood, inflammatory mediators such as cytokines, bacterial toxins, toxins, activated complement, and many other things. And it's very simple. This is plug and play compatible mm -hmm. with standard hemodialysis machines or ECMO machines, extra corporal membrane oxygenation machines, or heart lung machines in the, ice, in the operating room. And it's simply blood in, blood out. This works kind of like a Brita filter for your blood okay. uh, in terms of removing these toxic inflammatory mediators that are driving this uncontrolled inflammatory response. Really interesting. So with regard to the current flu that's like almost at epidemic levels, would this be something that could actually help? Yeah, it is actually being used today in Europe in many cases to try to help manage patients with the flu and complications of the flu, such as bacterial pneumonia, sepsis, and other complications. One of the things about the current outbreak is that uh, the H3N2 subtype that is currently circulating in the United States, for example, creates a very high cytokine storm. And with the uh, low efficacy of the vaccine, patients, even healthy patients, that don't have comorbid illnesses are getting very sick. Many of those patients are dying, unfortunately. Cytosorb is designed to try to control that cytokine storm, reduce it, thereby helping patients recover faster without all the complications. Okay, so where are we with regard to the approval process on the product? Well, in Europe, we are approved uh, in the European Union, and Cytosorb is now distributed in 44 countries around the world. Uh, all of the European Union, places as far away as Russia, Australia, mm -hmm. New Zealand, and many others. Uh, in the United States, we are currently in the midst of a pivotal registration trial for Cytosorb, trying to get Cytosorb approved for cardiac surgery, trying to control the deadly inflammatory response that often happens in valve replacement surgery and other types of complex cardiac surgeries. Okay, any milestones you're expecting for 2018 and beyond? Yeah, so first of all, we expect, uh, unlike most medical device companies, to actually hit operating profitability on a quarterly basis this year. That's one. Congratulations. This, thank you. Uh, two, we're looking also to make good progress on our pivotal uh, trial, uh, Refresh 2, for the United States approval. Uh, third, we uh, are looking at potentially new partnerships as well as expansion of old partnerships with major, uh, we currently have major uh, partners like Fresenius Medical Care, for example, the largest dialysis company in the world, mm -hmm. Teruma Cardiovascular, the largest cardiac surgery disposables in the world. All of that has been driving a 13.2 million dollar a year business in sales and uh, we expect that to grow significantly uh, this year as well. And then last but not least, um, I think that we're also looking at greater awareness of investors of our, of our company and our technology. Uh, that's what we've been uh, working towards. All right, well, thanks for getting us up to speed on Cytosorbents, Philip.